psilocybin may prove useful in the treatment of anorexia. Psilocybin, the main psychoactive ingredient in some mushrooms, could be a new treatment option for anorexia, a recent study has found. The compound given to a small group of women, combined with psychological therapy, showed very promising results. Anorexia, or anorexia nervosa, is most common in young women and girls. This is a very serious eating disorder. It leads to a morbid focus on the body and deliberate weight loss, with disturbed self-esteem. People affected by anorexia perceive their figure as too fat. The condition is difficult to treat and currently there are no proven effective treatments for adults. But that may soon change. A recent study found that a single dose of psilocybin, the psychoactive ingredient found in some mushrooms, helped alleviate the symptoms of anorexic women. Although these results were achieved in a small study of only 10 people, they could form the basis for future research to further evaluate psilocybin therapy as a new treatment option. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Nature Medicine. Patients with anorexia have a distorted perception of their figure and weight, which leads to obsession on this point and decisions about drastic slimming without rational grounds, both by limiting food intake and sometimes excessive physical effort. The aim of such actions is to lose weight as quickly as possible, which has a destructive effect on the condition of the body, and in extreme cases can even lead to death. On average, 4% of people suffer from anorexia. Women and 0.3%. Men. Although the percentage of cases in men is probably underestimated, Treating this disease is extremely difficult. There is also no guarantee of a final cure, because as many as half of the hospitalized and discharged patients relapse within just one year. Since there are still no effective drugs to treat this disease, scientists decided to check whether psilocybin, which has already proven effective in the treatment of depression, alcoholism and obsessive compulsive disorder, will also be able to help this group of patients to test the effectiveness of psilocybin in treating anorexia. 10 women aged 18 to 40 were given 25 mg of a synthetic version of the compound. At the same time, they were provided with support from therapists. It turned out that as many as 9 of them saw their lives in a completely different, much more positive light, for eight it was one of the five most important moments in their lives. While according to seven of them the quality of their lives improved. However, in the context of anorexia, only four of them showed remission of the disease after three months. And their perception and concerns about their own weight no longer differed from those of other healthy women. Although the results of these studies seem promising, the study itself was not conducted in a way that would allow drawing specific conclusions from it. First of all, 
There was no diversity in terms of gender or race. Because as many as nine women described themselves as white. There was also no control group that would have been given a placebo under similar circumstances. Further research will therefore certainly be needed to consider more variables, including how severe the patient's symptoms are and the doses of psilocybin used. At the same time, the question arises about the reasons for the potential effectiveness of psilocybin in the context of treating anorexia. Serotonin seems to be the key here. In general, it is believed that this substance is able to activate the receptors in the brain, which under normal conditions would react in this way to this happiness hormone. At the same time, scientists suspect that the effect of serotonin in patients suffering from anorexia may be limited. Magnetic field reversal 42,000 years ago could have caused a mass extinction temporary rapid changes in Earth's magnetic field that occurred 42,000 years ago years ago. Triggered major climatic changes. They led to the mass extinction of plants and animals. They may also have prompted our ancestors to seek shelter in caves. Which would explain the sudden appearance of rock art around the globe, according to a new study by Australian scientists. This dramatic turning point in Earth's history, which was characterized by geomagnetic storms, extensive auroras and rising levels of cosmic rays, was triggered by Earth's magnetic pole reversal and changing solar wind. According to researchers at the University of New South Wales, UNSW, in Sydney and South Wales, Australian Museum in a publication that appeared in Science. Researchers have dubbed this period the Adams Transient Geomagnetic Event, or the Adams Event, for short, in homage to science fiction writer Douglas Adams, author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. For the first time in history, we were able to precisely determine the timing and environmental impact of the last change of the Earth's magnetic poles, argues the co-author of the study, Professor Chris Turney from UNSW. The discovery was possible thanks to an ancient New Zealand tree called Kauri in the Maori language, Agates New Zealand, Agathus Australis, which has been preserved in settlements for over 40,000 years. years. Thanks to it, we were able to accurately determine the time when changes in the Earth's magnetic field took place and track them year after year, says the scientist. Researchers since the 1960s know that the Earth's magnetic poles reversed around 41 to 42,000 years ago. Years ago, this event is known as the Lashom event, Lashomp event. However, it has not yet been determined how this reversal affected life on our planet. An analysis of the rings of an ancient cowrie tree sheds new light on the matter. 
This tree is like a Rosetta stone that helps us connect environmental changes seen in caves, ice cores and peat bogs around the world, says study co-author Professor Alan Cooper from the South Australian Museum. Thanks to the collected data, it was possible to develop a global climate model that prevailed on Earth for over 40,000 years. Years ago, scientists were able to track the growth of ice sheets and glaciers over North America and changes in tropical storm systems. For years, Researchers have been trying to explain the mystery of the rapid extinction of species in Australia and Tasmania, which occurred 42,000 years ago. Years ago, it always seemed strange. This happened long after the arrival of the Aborigines in these areas more or less at the same time when the Australian environment turned barren, says Professor Cooper. According to the researchers, the Adams event could explain many other evolutionary mysteries, such as the extinction of the Neanderthals and the sudden, widespread appearance of figurative art in caves around the world. This is the most surprising and most important discovery I've ever been involved in, says Professor Cooper. Earth's magnetic north pole, the direction the compass needle points to, does not have a fixed location. It is usually located near the geographic north pole which is the northernmost point of the Earth's axis. The position of the magnetic poles changes, which is influenced by the processes taking place in the Earth's core. Usually, the displacements are small, but over 41,000 years ago, the north and south poles completely switched places. The Le Champ event was the last Earth reversal. It lasted about 800 years, after which the magnetic poles returned to their previous places, says Professor Turney. So far, research has focused on a period when the poles were reversed and the Earth's magnetic field was 28% weaker from his strength today, but according to the new findings, the most dramatic moment occurred when the poles wandered across our planet. During the Adams event, the Earth's magnetic field was at most 6%. Its strength today, explains Professor Turney. We basically had no magnetic field at all. Our shield against cosmic rays was completely gone, he says. During the collapse of the magnetic field, the Earth was left without protection from solar flares and cosmic radiation. Unfiltered radiation from space rips air molecules in Earth's atmosphere, separating electrons and emitting light. This process is called ionization, says Professor Turney. Ionized air literally fried the Earth's ozone layer, triggering a wave of climate change around the globe. He adds, at that time, the auroras were visible all over the globe, and not, as today, only in the far north and south. Our ancestors could observe amazing, shimmering auroras in the sky, says Professor Cooper. Ionized air, 
which is an excellent conductor of electricity, has also increased the frequency of geomagnetic storms. People might have thought that the end of the world was coming, believes Professor Cooper. Scientists believe that the dramatic environmental changes 42,000 years ago years may have prompted the first people to seek increasingly safer shelters. This could explain the sudden appearance of cave art around the world during this period. We believe that the rapid increase in UV levels especially during solar flares, made the caves exceptionally good shelters. A common motif in cave art in the form of red ochre handprints may indicate that it was used as a sunscreen, says Professor Cooper. The research began two years ago after the discovery of an ancient kauri tree in the city of Nafa in New Zealand, with a trunk 2.5 meters in diameter. The tree was alive at the time of the Lischomp event. Like other kauri logs found in the ground, Nafa wood is very well preserved said Dr. Jonathan Palmer of UNSW, an expert in tree ring dating. Using radiocarbon dating, the team tracked changes in the atmosphere during the pole reversal. Thanks to the preserved jars, it was possible to track them year after year. All of this helped to reconstruct this dramatic period in Earth's history, when a chain of environmental and climate changes led to mass extinction of species. Scientists are concerned about the current rapid movement of the North Magnetic Pole. Many researchers speculate that we are on the verge of another Earth reversal. Such a polar reversal could have a catastrophic impact on our planet today. Electricity and satellite networks would be destroyed, which, combined with the climate crisis, could lead humanity to the brink of the abyss. That's why researchers call for stopping climate change before it's too late.